So we finished our table. The answer will always be in this corner because this is the thing we're trying to get to, the capacity of 18 and using all the items. So it's 44. You can see that you get to the solution a bit before that. But you can never know for sure until you've got to this, this cell here. Now what we've got to do is we've got to decode the solution. And this is like a little bit tricky um, at first to get our heads around. Um, we have this keep matrix that we've been making each time. And the keep matrix has basically been saying um, whether we've kept an item or not uh, according to using the maximum of th that we talked about before when we calculate these things. Um, so, so a simple example up here for a capacity of 4 and a, uh, this item with a weight of 4, we can fit it in and we say yeah, we keep it. Um, so now we have to decode this um, keep uh, message. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> message is something I've just got. Um, now we have to decode this keep matrix and find the answer. How do we do it? Well, we start in the bottom right thing and the, the computer looks at this value here and it says, do we keep this um, item, this last item? And in the bottom right corner, it says no. So we don't keep this. Then we look to the next one up. It's this one. Do we keep this item? And the computer says no, because that's got a zero there. So we're sti we haven't kept any items yet. So we still have a completely empty knapsack um, of size 18, of capacity 18. Now we look at this item, and it says, yes, we should keep this one. It's got a 1 there. So, okay, we've put this item into our bag. So now we have a free space left of 15. Um, <clears throat> so what, what we have to do is we have to work out which item we should keep in the space. The space is 15. So after we've d gone here and recognized this 1 and written it down, on some paper, or stored it into memory, that we are going to keep this this one. We look at our space 15 that's left, because we've put this in, and we we continue from there on. So we've we've got to this uh, row, and we, we go to this next row, but we look at this uh, column 15, because that's our space left, and we continue from there. So now we're looking at, at this uh, row here, and we can see that for an upsec of 15, we don't keep this item. It says 0. Uh, OK, so we don't keep that one. Well, now we move up to this row. Same space that we've got left of 15 for this row. And then we come to our first one. So we say, OK, cool. We've got this. We've got to keep this item here, this third item down. So now we should have a space of 10. So we go to. Uh, the next row up, and we go to our uh, knapsack capacity of 10, and we say, um, do we do we keep this this one? And it says yes. And this has got a, a weight of six, so we put this into the knapsack, and we have a space left of four now. So we go to our capacity of four on the next row up, and we go to our um, next. So we go to our next row up. And we go to our space of four because that's all that we've got left. We look at this column because this is our mini knapsack problem, and we say yes, we keep this item in that case. And that's if we just go to the end, the items that we get. There are four items left. The first one is fourteen three, so we go zero zero. The first one, put that in. We have a space left of uh, fifteen, so we look at our solution for fifteen on this row. Don't take this item, value 11, weight 7. Um, do take this item. So um, value 8, weight 5. So we can see that there. So now we've put that in. So we've got an upsec of 12. Is that right? Um, no, an upsec of size 10 for this this item here. So I just did a little bit of simple math wrong. <laughs> a, weight, a weight of... Uh, Capacity of 10. Um, and so which item should we take? Well, we should take this one. It's got a 1 indicating here. We just moved up a row. So we, we identify that there. We've put it in the bag. So now we've got a problem of size 4, because that's 10 subtract the last weight, which was 6. Uh, which item shall we use? We continue the row up. It says a 1 here. We should take this item. 
So we, that's our last item that we should take and continue up to the non, I suppose. Because um, we've put that in, we've got a capacity of, we've got a space of zero left. Awesome. So that's that's zero, our last, our last one. Uh, and those are the items that we take. And that's uh, solving the NAPSAP pro uh, problem. Uh, hopefully that was very clear. Thank <laughs> you.